Do you feel that Microsoft Teams can be a bit messy when you start getting involved with channel conversations? Because I know for many of you, you can find those channel conversations to be a tangled mess, needing to scroll right up to the top to find the post that's important to you or the one you need to refer back to. But hopefully it now gets a bit easier because Microsoft are releasing a new feature called Threads, allowing us to have a discussion in a single thread inside of Teams. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the early preview of Threads in Teams. I'm gonna show you how Threads work, why they matter to us, and how you can start using them when they are available to you. So let's dive in and check out those Threads. So welcome to Microsoft Teams. And as we can see here, I've got a channel inside of one of my Teams. And within a week, there are a lot of posts that are going on inside of our channel. And as we know over many years, our posts are structured by the initial post and then any reply show beneath it. The problem is though, as we can see here, lots of different posts and meetings across our team have now meant that there's a lot of content. Trying to get back to this later or seeing it in a more simplified way can become quite a challenge. And that's where we can take advantage of the new threads feature. By heading into the channel settings, assuming you're a channel owner, you can select edit channel and change the layout to the new threads option. By going ahead and clicking save, you'll see a visible change straight away inside of our channel. Now we can see by scrolling to the top, there are less posts for us to see. Any replies under each post are then shown by the number and then the profile pictures, including the time and date of the last reply. By expanding the replies, we now see on the right hand side, a dedicated panel for those threads. We see the full discussion had across the team and we can scroll through the thread and reply to it in line using the reply in thread option. We can do this over multiple threads. Scrolling down and opening other replies, we see the threads on the right update all the replies from that given post. We also see the top of Teams. What was now shown as posts is now been updated to the word conversation. So a visible change is now shown. We can also see all the threads in this channel by clicking on the back button in our threads panel. And now we see all these different conversations we can left click into. So the main benefit we're now seeing inside of our threads view inside of our channel is we can now see a much simplified view of all the conversations that are going on across our team's channel. But also do be aware that by changing your settings in a team's channel to use a new threads feature is a global change. That means anyone who uses your channel will then see this new threads experience. They will not be able to see it in the old posts view. So if you want to change this over, make sure you share this video tutorial with them before you go and change that setting because it can be a little bit confusing without having some idea about where all of your replies have ended up. But these changes to layouts aren't reserved to existing channels. Now when we go and create a new channel, you'll see the default layout will be set to threads rather than posts. Yes, you could change it over depending on your requirements, but by going ahead and selecting the create button, our new channel will be created with a new threads view enabled to be worked with immediately. But we can also turn off this layout in any channel, whether that's an existing or a new channel you've created. Select the freed up menu, edit channel, and you can now change the layout back into posts if you and your team would prefer. But yes, this new layout capability is by default enabled for new channels. And you can optionally turn it on or off on any of your channels in Teams. And another important point to note is when you're applying to any thread, you don't see a reply button. Instead, you can click on the number of replies to open up the conversation in the right and then go ahead and respond to it. And there's another option by hovering over the thread itself, you can select reply in thread. On the right hand side, you also see the same view once again. So yes, no single reply button, but you'll be able to reply or view the thread by selecting the replies or by selecting that button to open it in the right hand side pane of your new Teams view. As most of you know already, it's not about having the latest features in getting the most from Microsoft 365. In fact, to get the most from them, we need to know how to use the tools in the right way. That's exactly where we come in at Your 365 Coach, because we've helped professionals just like you all over the world get more from Microsoft 365. 
Through practical training, expert guidance and on-demand learning, we know that we can make a difference to you and your team. So if you're ready to take control of your digital workspace, why not find out more at the link below and get in touch. Now, let's get back to those threads in Teams. And you'll also see in Teams that this now introduced a new button. On the left-hand side of your Teams chat and channels, you'll see followed threads. By left-clicking into them, this now acts much like an activity feed to all the different threads that you're following inside of Teams over many different channels. But how does this function work? Well, if you're replying or creating a new thread, you'll be automatically following it, meaning you can click into these followed threads and you can even reply straight in line without having to go anywhere near the Teams channel itself. And that can be really useful because you only want to focus on the areas that you've replied to or created a post on. But also, you can follow any different thread that you haven't created or replied to, but you may have an interest in. To achieve that, let's go back into our Teams channel and we can see a post here from Matthew. Now I'd like to keep an eye on this and ensure I track any replies, but I don't want to go ahead and reply to it myself. By selecting the freed up menu on this thread, we can go ahead and select follow thread. We can see this notification here shown in Teams. And that means that as replies such as Alex here is sent back to Matthew in that thread, I'll be notified in the followed thread section even though I haven't replied or created that initial message. If you also want to change these settings in the future, head up to the freed up menu, select settings in your Teams app, and then select chats and channels. And you'll see here how you can follow threads in any of these layout channels. You can do that by unchecking threads I've started for messages, threads I'm part of, or where I'm at mentioned. So you have the ability to change the settings now you automatically follow threads in this new Teams experience. But it's important to be aware that while this feature is rolling out, not everyone in your team will have it. So if you do decide to change your channel view to the new threads capability because you have it, it doesn't mean your colleagues do. So if you do enable threads and one of your colleagues doesn't have access to that new feature, they will see a message here stating that some people in this channel have a different view from you. And some messages may appear out of order and disconnected from a thread. And it could impact notifications. So do be aware that when you make the change and your colleagues don't have it enabled yet, which is planned to be in August of 2025, well, they won't see the same experience and some of these posts may appear out of order. So it's something to be aware of when you turn on this feature. It may even be worth ensuring you and your colleagues all have the new threads capability before you go and turn it on. And finally, can we also see threads like we used to in pop out messages? We absolutely can. Click on the freed up menu in your thread sidebar and select open thread in new window. And just like we did in Teams before, we now have a pop out message of that full thread and conversation. But as we're seeing today, the new threads experience simplifies Teams posts in a way that makes it much easier for us to digest, understand and get back to quickly. So what do you think of this new feature in Microsoft Teams being threads? Is it something that you would want to use in your team to help keep your conversations flowing and a bit more like Teams chat? Well, I'd love to know in the comments below. For me, I think it's a promising update, one that many people have asked for over many years, and I'll be using this in my Teams experience moving forward. Now, of course, if this video has helped, hit that like button, and not only that, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, so you won't miss out in any tutorial like this that we upload every single week. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.